Hello, I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries, and I thank you for joining me today. My message this time is Total Sufficiency. I've also done a message which I titled Absolute Victory, and I encourage you and exhort you to go to that message as well. This time, my message is total sufficiency. Jesus is the All-Sufficient One. It's one of His names, in fact, El Shaddai. It means the All-Sufficient One. It's also His very nature, His character. We can all say, praise the Lord for that. I sure do. Not only is His grace sufficient, He Himself is sufficient. In fact, He is the God of abundance, abundance even more than enough. John 10 10 says this, and Jesus is speaking, and he says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That means life to the full. Oh, yes, abundant, everlasting life in him. Yes, He is the way and the truth and the life, and He is the one who gives us all-sufficient, abundant life that is, in fact, even more than enough. And thank God for that. Thank God for that. Amen to that. Amen. Another scripture that I want to emphasize is Hebrews 10 and verse 14. And it says, By one sacrifice, and that, of course, is Jesus' sacrifice. That sacrifice of Himself on the cross 2,000 years ago when He gave Himself voluntarily as a sacrifice for you and for me. By that one sacrifice, He, Jesus, has made perfect forever all those who are being made holy. That's you and me. Thank God He's doing that through the power of the Holy Spirit, who is God Himself. Yes, the Holy Spirit is God Himself, and He is performing that work in you and in me, that work of making us holy. I do love this verse. Jesus is the one sacrifice. He has, and this is past tense, has made perfect forever. That is throughout eternity. He has made perfect forever all those who are being made holy. That's you and that's me. <laughs> I do love it. Forever includes eternity, past, present, and everlasting life in the future. Jesus is not limited by time. I, in fact, have done yet another message, which I titled, Take the Limits Off. I encourage you to look at that one as well. Jesus is not limited by time. For Him, it is simply a tool, a tool of measurement. He can go back in time or else He can go forward in the future and bring that condition or that state of being into the current here and now. Yes, He can. For example, He can go back to the cross. 
He can go back and bring our healing into the present. At the same time, he can go forward into the future and bring heaven's reality into this present. He can do that, in fact, just as easily. Again, by one sacrifice, that one sacrifice of himself 2,000 years ago, he has, past tense, made perfect forever, way out into eternity future. He's made perfect forever all those who are being made holy. That's us. <laughs> That's you. That's me, praise God. Oh, yes. And this verse of Scripture is absolutely true. Take him at his word. Let's use our faith and be earnest in our prayers. But at the same time, I would say to you that if you are ministering this to someone, be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and move with the anointing. Timing is important. So I say, Amen. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for taking on my sin and for dying in my place. I trust you now as Savior and Lord, as that one who purchased everything for me at the cross 2,000 years ago. Lord, I thank you. You are absolutely victorious. And I look to you for that victory now. In Jesus' name, amen. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.